what living ethically is about is about not just thinking about yourself, but putting yourself in the position of other beings who are affected by your action. Any tradition of ethical thinking will start to realize that I'm just one being here among a lot of others. There's nothing so special about me that somehow my sufferings are more important than your sufferings or anyone else's suffering of the people out there, or for that matter, of the animals. What can trace the insuperable line between beings that can't morally and beings that don't? Suppose it was reason a horse is, is more reasonable than a human infant, but suppose it was otherwise, why would it matter? The question is not whether they can talk nor whether they can reason, but can they suffer? Can they suffer? When we're talking about vertebrates, particularly the animals we eat, the pigs and cows and chickens and so on, there's no doubt that they can feel pain. And there's no doubt that they do feel pain in the way we rear them and produce them. It's not in a way just the capacity to feel pain in a physical sense, but also capacities to feel things like boredom, fear, frustration. That's why I don't think we can ethically justify eating them. People who are prepared to just go into the supermarket and buy some ham don't need to do that at all. They could easily eat something else. And so they're, in fact, supporting the pain that is inflicted on those animals during their factory farm lives and in the process of slaughter for a very trivial reason. If you do eat meat, I think you have a responsibility to know something about it because yeah, you surely don't right, want to support something which may be not only just wrong slightly but causing really serious and prolonged suffering. I don't think we can just turn our heads and say, please don't tell me about it. We're very much a conforming animal and it's very hard to do things against the prevailing norms.